Hi, my name is Clayton with BuildYourCNC.com. Today I'm going to show you how to work with our cable carriers. Uh, there's two different sizes. The only difference between the two sizes is these top and bottom pieces. First thing we're going to show you is how to take them apart. Uh, basically, the first thing you're going to want to do is pop out these little plastic sides, uh, the yellow pieces. There's you know, no real good way to do it. You can just either pop them out like this or find whatever way is easiest for you. You're going to take out the ones for the pieces that you're trying to take apart. And then on either side of that, you're going to take off these top and bottom pieces. You're going to push in and pry it up a little. Push in and pry it up a little. Once you get them off, you're going to do that to all four of the ones that are on the two pieces that you're trying to take apart. Sometimes it's not that easy. There we go. Flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Once you have those, they come right apart. If you need to take off more pieces, you'll have to take off these sides. And then these are actually stopping this from coming out, so you'll have to take off at least one side of this to get this to come out because it's sitting over top of this. To put them back together, it's fairly simple. Just put it back in pop the side piece back in, and then pop these pieces right back onto the top. Other thing about these is if you actually flip them over, you can put them back in, but they will lock. Meaning you'll have this one going this way and this one going this way, but these pieces are locked. You can lock them in three different positions. Either 45 one direction, straight, or 45 the other direction. And just put your pins back in, put your covers back on, and you're good to go. I'll show you putting this back together. As I said, you put this in here, pop your sides back in, and then when you put these on, you put one side on first, ah. and then snap it down onto the other side. One side on first. Snap it down on. Flip it over, do the same to the other side. And now it's fully functional and operational again. Now as far as what you can fit in these, I'll show you here on the small one. I have three four conductor motor cable wires, one power wire for spindle, and two the inlet and the outlet water wires, or water hoses, I'm sorry. As you can see, they actually go in there just fine, and there's no, there's no pinching whenever it's bent. So you can at least fit that in there. They're kind of snug, but they at least fit in there for like a three-axis and a spindle CNC project. Now, this is actually about half the size of this one, so you should be able to fit twice as much in this one.